Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chow here, Donkster Bomb, Bob Built for Theme Parks, and welcome to a breaking theme park newsroom update. Uh, now, this is residing from Fun Spot Atlanta uh, in Georgia in the States, and we got off the news about Gerslauer and the fact they were going to be working with an American park, they were going to open this in 2022, more will be revealed in months. Who thought we would hear? Fun Spot Atlanta and RMC in the same sentence because Fun Spot Atlanta in Atlanta, Georgia, United States have announced a partnership with Rocky Mountain Construction. Yes, I said RMC earlier. That doesn't stand for Rocky Mountain Colby. I don't know. I can't think of any other RMC names. But Rocky Mountain Construction, the creators of the hybrids, the Raptors, the Wooden Coasters, Topper Tracks, the iBoxers, all of them. RMC are partnering with Fun Spot Atlanta. Now we're going to go through all the details from Fun Spot Atlanta's official press release and share my thoughts on the information. And don't forget, guys, you can comment down below what you think as well in the description box. Well, not the not description box, but the comment box down below. Uh, so let's get started to this. So please like, comment, subscribe. Cut the case bell so you never miss another video. We are getting closer and closer to 4,000 subs by the end of the year and a million views. So make sure we hit that, please. Uh, also, guys, check the description down below where you can find the link to the press article from Funspot Atlanta, as well as social media links and Google Forms link uh, for you to submit your own video ideas for the channel. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the official press release on the partnership between Funspot Atlanta and RMC for a brand new coaster for 2020. So Fun Spot America Atlanta partners with Rocky Mountain Construction on the next big thing for Atlanta. In fact, it's so big you'll say it's huge. Uh, a new roller coaster design process is underway and scheduled to debut in 2022. Roller coaster enthusiasts and theme park lovers will soon be buzzing about the impact this partnership will have on the Atlanta area. Hold on tight, because this will be Fun Spot America's largest roller coaster investment ever. They didn't just say Fun Spot Atlanta, they said Fun Spot America, so it's talking about all the Fun Spot parks. This new roller coaster will be the first of many new marquee rides and attractions yet to come for Fun Spot Atlanta. RMC is a highly sought after designer and manufacturer of award winning roller coasters. We're pleased to be able to, to provide huge thrills for families and coaster enthusiasts at our Atlanta park. And that was a quote from the CEO, John Airy Jr. Rocky Mountain Construction, often referred to as RMC, um, have been designing uh, uh, extreme roller coasters. They've been a fabricator and manufacturer of extreme roller coasters located in Hayden, Ohio, at Idaho. Uh, over the years, RMC has been known for its transformation of wooden roller coasters into new hybrid attractions. The founder and owner, Fred Grubb, created RMC's notable steel eye box track, which uses steel eye beams to replace the traditional layer wooden track design. The idea of this was to reduce maintenance costs and increase the co uh, coaster's longevity while providing awesome high speed turns and inversions. Uh, we're so excited to be working with Fun Spot America and thrilled to be bringing a fantastic new RMC coast to Atlanta uh, from Fred Grubb. John Airy Jr., the CEO of Fun Spot um, Atlanta, says we're thrilled to announce our partnership with RMC because we love their world-renowned products, family-owned and operated business mindset uh, and know this is perfect for Fun Spot's family. We can't wait to see the final project and the huge positive impact it will have on the park for years to come. Now, Funspot is yet to announce additional details about the coaster, but the park is pursuing naming rights sponsorship opportunity with one of Atlanta's major sports franchises. So, a bit of a bit of a steel curtain at Kennywood type story this one. The park is also looking to hire an additional 250 employees as they gear up for what they predict to be another busy summer. From what the attendance numbers have been showing since reopening, people are ready to get out and enjoy themselves again. We feel the summer will be better than ever before. Um, but we need friendly and dedicated workers who are eager to begin their career in the amusement industry. Uh, for those of you who are looking to be employed, uh, there is a link in the article where you can apply if you are over there in Atlanta and want to work with the park. 
Uh, the starting wages, according to the article, begin at $11.75 per hour, and all employees must pass a drug screening. Employee benefits include summer and Christmas bonuses, discount on tickets, food and beverage, leadership and training courses, and more. And of course, if they're interested, the link is in that article. But of course, the main thing about this story is the fact that it's around that we're looking at an RMC roller coaster of some type based around Atlanta's or one of Atlanta's major sporting franchises. Um, now I'm going to share my thoughts on exactly what I think could be coming. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is looking at Atalanta's brand new coaster for 2022, the first official details from Rocky Mountain Construction. Now, obviously, the big detail there was, was obviously about the major sports franchise, the fact that it could be one of America's major sporting franchises. Uh, that will be the theme and the name of this uh, this roller coaster. Uh, so we're going to have a look now at some major sporting franchises in Atalanta and why I think this could be a potential name for the ride. So first up, we've got the baseball team, the Atalanta Braves. Now, of course, they are in the Major League Baseball. They have a capacity venue of 41,500. The first season was in 1871 before Mean moved to Atlanta in 1966. They have won one title back in 1995. Uh, so it, this is definitely uh, a, a big franchise. They're, they're quite a big franchise. Um... Of course, they are a big team in the Major League B Baseball. Um, obviously, you know you've got the major baseball teams like the Red Sox and the uh, and the Yankees and things like that. But um, for Atlanta, this is a, this would be a great franchise to bring to theme parks and bring baseball to theme parks. So I think there's a chance this could happen. Next up, in my opinion, one of the favourites that I think this will be, which is the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, this is the American football team in the NFL uh, playing its uh, American football uh, at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which has a capacity of 71,000 people. Of course, its first season was 1966. So, you know, this is definitely a, a, a wonderful one, in my opinion. Uh, I think that the Falcons are... You know, the Atlanta's National Football League franchise. You know, they're a massive, massive team. They've had some really great uh, moments. Uh, they've won the division title six times in two different seasons in the NFC West and current NFC South. Uh, and two conference championships going on to lose to the Denver Broncos. Um... In, uh, in 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 the Super Bowl uh, in the Super Bowl back in 1999, and um, also don't forget they also um, lost to the New England Patriots in four different Super Bowls, um, and you know and obviously you've got the Alliance of American Footballs Atlanta franchise. The Legends began playing uh, just a couple of years ago in 2019. Uh, playing at the Georgia State Stadium, but the league's football operations were reported were suspended and the team was folded. So the main thing here is the Atlanta Falcons. And again, you look at Steel Curtain, you look at what they do with the um, with the Steelers, and you know I think that again this could be a possibility. They could be building on an NFL franchise and bringing it into the theme parks and you know indulging fans and bringing them into the NFL atmosphere. So I think there's a real opportunity here for the Falcons to be the major franchise behind this coaster. Uh, but again, we shall see. Franchise number three out of four is the Atlanta Hawks. Now, obviously they do have a women's basketball team. Uh, now, the women's basketball team uh, is the Atlanta Dream, uh, which started back in 2008. I think that will get included as well. Um... Now, obviously, the Hawks will be the main one, along with the Atlanta Dream involved in that, just as equally as the Hawks. Uh, but basketball could be a big franchise for this area. Now, of course, the Atlanta Hawks uh, have been playing in Atlanta since the 68-69 NBA season. The franchise beginning, beginning back in 1946 as the Buffalo Broncos. Uh, Bison, sorry. Why did I say Broncos? Bisons. Uh, briefly playing in Buffalo, New York, before moving to Moline, Illinois, and becoming the Tri-Cities Blackhawks. The team moved to Milwaukee in 1951. Then St. Louis in 1955, where it's won its sole NBA championship as the St. Louis Hawks. A decade after winning the title, in 1968, the Hawks came to Atlanta. The Hawks have won six division titles and 16 playoff series since moving. Uh, the Hawks NBA G League officiate, uh, affiliate, the College Park Skyhawks, is based in College Park, immediately southwest of Atlanta. 
Uh, and again, this is this is another one. I think that Atlanta Dream, uh, the, the 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 Hawks, uh, the the College Park Skyhawks will be involved in this. I think the the basketball one is quite a massive franchise to go for, and I think that again, this would be a nice um, you know opening. I think I think I think. Could you imagine like the opening day for this ride? Could you imagine like the opening ceremony and you have like uh, if it was if it was based solely around the Atlanta Hawks and you had like. Um, Bogdan Bogdanovic or, um, or or someone like that coming in to, to officially open the ride, uh, the main ride. Clint Capella, that's another one that could be a, a good person to, to open uh, the the area. Um, obviously, they're, they're round one sixth pick of the draft as well on Yeka on Kogwu. You know, he could be a great... Um, you know, person to open the ride. So it's sort of one of the new stars of Atlanta, the future stars of Atlanta. Uh, so I think that again, this will be a, another a great franchise to go for. And I think that overall, um, I think that this is uh, a wonderful idea. Finally, we're going to go through two franchises that I maybe think this might be a long shot, but you never know. Uh, I did say four, but I mean five technically. But these are two franchises that I think is least likely to be the case. Uh, so, soccer, we've got Atlanta United, of course, football over here in Britain. Uh, Atlanta United started in 2014. Um, it was part of an expansion team to join the MLS and began playing in 2017. Um, of course, Atlanta United, they've got some great players in that team. Uh, you know, me being a soccer fan, you guys know I'm a soccer fan, or should I say a football fan for those of you here in Britain. And you guys know I'm a fan of, the, of any kind of football or soccer, as you guys call it in America. Um, but you guys know exactly, you know, what my, you know, what my love is for football. And, you know, you've got great players there. Uh, Brad Guzan, the former Portsmouth player, Anton Walks. Um, you've also got loads of amazing players. Emerson Hindman, that used to be at Bournemouth. Jurgen Dam, who was a great star in Mexico. Mo Adams, who I think is a midfielder on the rise. Josef Martinez, uh, who's a great, a wonderful striker, really wonderful striker. Um, you've, got, you've got loads of great international players alongside that. Alan Franco, Franco Ibarra, Jake Mulraney, Lissandro Lopez is a great defender. And I think that overall, I think, again, Atlanta United is probably the most le least likely franchise to be the name and theme for this, just because I think that they're the sort of newest franchise out of the lot. But I think that it's not completely a long shot. I think it's still in the realms of possibilities. It's a case of, um, you know, what, 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 what could be, you know. I, I think that, it, you know, it should be interesting. Um, but I think there's, a, there's, a, there's still a chance that they could... Um, they, they could, you know, potentially be within a chance. And finally, ice hockey with the uh, the old Atlanta Flames. Of course, they got relocated to Calgary, Alberta, Canada. But maybe they might want to um, sort of remember their past here with this one. Maybe it's just a historic thing, but maybe pay homage to the Atlanta Flames. I think this is very, very unlikely. I think this is a very, very unlikely one. Uh, I don't I don't think it was worth mentioning this one, in my opinion. But technically, they were the Atlanta Flames first. They might want to uh, acknowledge their past. But I think this is probably the very least likely one. But it was worth giving it a mention in the end. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is going through the franchises, the major franchises in Atalanta, out the, out of the five. Uh, ice hockey, soccer, American football, basketball, uh, and baseball. And I think that, you know, like I said, the, the ice hockey one's probably least likely because they are now the Calgary Flames and have been for the last three decades, I think, uh, or four or five decades nearly. So I think that that one's least likely. Football, soccer as we call it, uh, the Atlanta United team, I think that's the most recent one, so I don't think that will be uh, involved at all. I think that uh, we're looking here at the other three. I think we're looking at either basketball, American football, or baseball. Uh, the baseball team looks great. I think it's got a great history and a great prestige around them. Um, the, the two for me, though, the big two for me, though, is either NFL or NBA. That's the two big franchises that seem to be the big intellectual properties around different uh, areas of culture and leisure and entertainment. Um... The NFL or the NBA, basketball or American football. And, um, you know, who would I rather go with? Would I go with the Falcons? Would I go with the Hawks? I really can't say at this stage. I really can't. But 
Uh, if I was to go with a guess, I would go with the Atlanta Falcons. I would go with the NFL team because I think that it just carries on the pattern of what uh, the Steelers and the whole Steel Curtain thing was happening with Kennywood. Uh, so I think they may continue with the NFL fries, but I, uh, franchise, but I would not be different. I would not be surprised if they went with the NBA franchise to differ from what Kenny Woods done with the NFL. So I think that they're still in the realms of possibility with the NBA. I think NFL is most likely for me, but only just. Uh, but there's still a big, big chance they could go with the NBA. Or they could go with baseball. Or they could go with the football. You never know. A uh, soccer, as you guys call it over there in America. Uh, but now let's have a look at the RMC coaster itself. What do we think it will be? Well, there was a lot of references to iBox track. This screams to me they're going to go for an iBox built from scratch. Now, we all know iBoxes can be built from scratch. We know that. Big example here in Europe, Zadra at Energylandia. That was not a conversion of a coaster. That was a one built from scratch. Zadra Energylandia, what a wonderful ride that looks. And it's proof that you could do some crazy things. Do I think this is going to be a thrill coaster or a family coaster? I think it will be a thrill coaster. I know RMC has been publishing these new concepts recently of the family uh, hybrid coasters. I don't think that will be one. I don't think this will be going to Fun Spot Amer uh, Atlanta. I think this will be going to a different park uh, when they are you know, set for built. Um, I mean, maybe it could be the family hybrid, you never know, because they did say thrilling thrill seekers and families, you know, there is that element still of it, so there's still a chance for a family hybrid, but I think if they're going to use anything, it will be the iBox, because I think that that was the one mentioned most, but I'm going to go with a thrilling iBox coaster, since this is Fun Spot Atlanta's, uh, Fun Spot America's biggest investment, the biggest investment out of all the theme parks in Kissimmee, Florida, Atlanta, all over the U America with the Fun Spot brand. This is their biggest coaster investment out of all of the parks. So I think that this will definitely be a thrilling run rather than a family one, and it will definitely be using the iBox track in my opinion. It won't be a Raptor. I was sort of thinking single rail at first, but I thought, nah, this is not going to be a single rail. So I think with the mention of iBox, uh, with a full paragraph, nearly a full paragraph dedicated to the iBox track, uh, or, part, or at least most of the paragraph dedicated to the iBox track and speaking about it. Um, I think that this is looking to be an iBox track coaster. I think this is this is going to be it. So, what we're looking at here then, realistically, in my prediction, in my early prediction, is a thrilling Rocky Mountain construction iBox track custom built ground up coaster opening in 2022, themed to either the American football team, the Atlanta Falcons in the NFL, the American football. Um, or the Atlanta Falcons from the NBA Basketball League. Oh my God, what an investment. <laughs> uh, but you guys over there in Atlanta, Georgia, comment down below. Which of your players do you want to see come and open the ride depending on what franchise it is? I wonder which Atlanta United players will come if it's based on the soccer team. Uh, but Atlanta... F uh, Atlanta Falcons fans, comment down below. Educate me on American football. Uh, Atlanta Hawks, comment down below. Atlanta Hawks fans, who do you think could come to the opening day? Clint Capella, Bogdan Badanovic. Um, I'm a big NBA fan, so I, I see all these basketball teams all over the place. And, you know, basketball, I love it so much. So, I, if it's the Atlanta Hawks, I'll be more excited for that than I would the NFL. But it's because I've watched the NBA more than the NFL. So, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't mind either, but I would prefer it with the NBA personally, because I know more about that franchise. But that's just me. I know some people out there will say, well, I, I prefer the Atlanta Falcons and the NFL theme, because, you know, I know more about that franchise than I do with the other franchises. And that's absolutely fine. Um, but it's just my opinion. So, there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go and stay tuned, because we've got another video from Kings Dominion coming. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chow, Coop, living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a franchise-tastic day, I guess. <laughs>